Hey, what's up? My name is Daniel. I'm with Springfield Rugby Football Club here in Springfield, Missouri. Now, today I'm going to show you something pretty awesome. How to grow your rugby club using Facebook ads. Now, this is replicable to any sport. Anybody can use it. But I've used it with our men's and women's team, and it worked really well. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, so I would like you to share this video. Let's make this go viral. We're struggling with numbers across America right now, so let's grow rugby, especially out of the coronavirus. Numbers need to be strong when we get out of this, so share this with a club, even if it's in your same division. They're gonna grow and benefit from this too. Okay, so you do need a Facebook page to do this. Everybody should be on Facebook because it's just gonna give your club a lot more exposure and there's no need to not be on Facebook. And that's going to be the forward, like that's where you're going to add, your ads are going to come from. So you need to put content in it. You need to be thinking every season about getting video of the guys or the girls, um, getting photos, team pics. People love to see that. And especially video, people don't really know how awesome rugby is until you see skills and cool stuff and collisions and uh, all kinds of cool stuff. So always be thinking about that. The first thing you need to piggyback off that is creative. You need good photo for an ad or a good video. And if you have a video editor in the club, that's fantastic too. I'm gonna show you some really good examples when we dive into the computer, um, but be thinking about what people wanna see and you can test different things too. So if one photo isn't working, you know, just switch it with another photo. The second thing you need is good copy. So understand what your call to action for the ad is. If it's going to ask uh, you know, recruits to message your page, say that. If you've built an event page for you know, your rugby uh, spring recruiting, um, maybe your first couple weeks of practice, you know, say respond to the event and come to the event. I'll show you some examples, but just make it clear and concise and get them excited about it. Uh, third thing you need is good targeting. Um, the back end of Facebook will allow you to easily do this. You know, if you want to target 18 year olds to 40 year olds, you can do that in a five mile radius around your city. Um, it's very, very easy to do. I do this for a living for different companies. Um, if you want help, here's my email address. Um, and I, you know, ask me any kind of questions and I'm happy to help. But it's really easy for just you to do it. You don't have to do this for a living. Facebook has made it extremely easy for individuals to go in and create good ads. And I'm going to show you exactly how you do this. Please share this video with somebody um, because we're really going to grow rugby with this. Um, numbers will not be struggling in matches if you do this. So you are going to need a good Facebook page and you're definitely going to need a budget. So, you know, pass the hat around at practice. What we did was I asked our board for some money. Uh, you know, I lined out a proposal and I sent it to them and they uh, loved it and were like, let's try it. And it worked really well. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now and let's get into the computer. All right. So like I said, you do need a Facebook page to run this from. You also need a Facebook ads manager. Um, now you have to Google how to set that up because um, I'm not going to show you on this video. But once you've set that up and you connect it to a debit card or a credit card, um, then you're good to go. So this is the Facebook ads manager, business.facebook.com. Um, if you have any questions in this area, please email me here. Um, I'm happy to help you in any way I can. Please share this video. Um, I mean, this is all about growing rugby at the end of the day. We need better numbers and we need to grow this sport. So uh, let's do it. Um, this is the Facebook ads manager. It's a pretty easy platform. Um, if you unless you make it complicated you can make it complicated but i'm going to show you how to win okay so here is the ad that um uh, i did one of the ads springfield rugby is recruiting players we will train you how to play the greatest sport on earth all you need for practice is athletic clothing and a good attitude the culture of our team and sport is unlike any other you'll find it's a true melting pot pot of players from all over the world practice time practice dates, look to, looking to stretch the legs and have fun. Do you like contact sports? Do you just need a change of pace and something different? Come check out Springfield Rugby and see if our sport is for you. RSVP to the event and show up or send our page a message for any questions. Okay, so this is a Facebook event. 
that I created for our first week of practices. So before you do this event ad, you have to have the event created. Um, and it's really simple. Um, you, I mean, you, you need to have the Facebook page, obviously, you gotta have the business manager, but set this up. Um, I mean, I just really outlined it for them perfectly. So um, what this was, so here it is here, practice event. We got 49 event responses for a dollar eight a piece. So those people were saying yes to the event, and I was putting stuff in the event um, as, uh, you know, our, our page, um, and reminding them cause they get notifications when they're already subscribed to the event practice is on practice, you know, will be held here. So we got some new players doing this. So that's one play that you can draw up. Um, another play that you can draw up is a, let's see here. Okay. So this is the, our women's team, the queen city chaos. Um, and so you'll see it comes from their page. But the Queen City Chaos are looking for women of all ages, sizes, and athletic abilities. No rugby experience is necessary. This is a great start to the ad. Um, this did amazing. Recruiting 417 area women to play rugby. That's your headline. Um, 417 is our area code. And you see there's a message button. This thing got 89 likes, 72 comments, and 45 shares. That's called social proof. Um, the more you have of that, the more people are going to comment and share it. So try to get that, try to engage people. Um, but here's this video. And videos start playing automatically in the news feed. Okay, so that's just video that we captured. Um, and I put a banner that flew in. Um, you don't have to be a video editor like me to be able to do this. This can be done from canva.com. It can be done from your iPhone editor, from simple video editors that you can get but you have to have content, you have to have footage. You can also string together um, photos in like a slideshow, and that really, uh, that works as well. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to build this ad. Actually, first I'm gonna show you the data behind this because it's pretty crazy. So here it is right here, recruitment messages. They got 55 messages for $3.22 a piece and they, they spent $177. This is just some of the women putting their money in. Um, but actually I got some funding from our, uh, from our board for this as well. So they put more money in though because it was working so well and they reta retained quite a few of these girls. So, um, but you have to have somebody that is willing to answer the messages on Facebook. They have a couple people, we have a couple people that do it. Um, and you have to keep people engaged when they message you. If they ask you a question like, hey, when is practice? Don't just say Tuesdays and Thursdays at six. You know, ask them, where did you hear about rugby? Have you played any other sports? You know, keep it going. Don't just be a blank wall. Like, get them excited to play rugby. That's what this is all about. So if you can't do that, don't do this. Do events. Um, okay, so you saw that. Um, now I'm going to show you how to make it. This is the meat. Um, I want to start over. Okay, so this is where you can start your optimization, um, your what you want them to do. Traffic will have them go to a URL or a landing page. If y'all have a good website, you can send them to that with traffic. Use link clicks or landing page views. Engagement, that's where I did uh, event responses. You can do event responses. If you need more page likes, you can do that. Or you can just get more engagement on a post, which... Um, is up to you. But yeah, that's what I did for uh, the event one is event responses. Um, and it worked really well. Um, you can do video views. If you have a really good video, do video views. And you can build really cheap video views audience. So you can take people that watched 50% of your video and retarget them with another ad that says, hey, come watch rugby. Um, it's really effective. Uh, and so what we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do messages. Um, so you click messages and then you fill out what you want your campaign name to be. And typically I'll just do like the date and recruiting messages, but whatever. You don't need to worry about these unless you're doing multiple ads within the ad, the campaign. So there's three sections of a Facebook campaign. This part is the campaign, which is like the high level, what you're optimizing it for. 
um, when you hit continue, you then go into an ad set. Think of these like folders. So one campaign can have multiple ad sets and these ad sets is where you do your targeting. So where you're gonna target geographically, age range, so you can target different, and then you'll have ads underneath the ad sets. Um, and, and you can have multiple ads, ads within an ad set. It can get really confusing, I know, but just follow along and you'll uh, start to figure it out. So we're gonna do messenger ads here. Um, so you do click to messenger. Um, this is always going to default to the United States. So you'll wanna type your city in. and um, it'll drop a pin for you. Um, and it usually does it to 25 miles, which you may not wanna do that. So if you um, zoom in here, that's probably too big. So I can pull that down to as low as 10. But if you wanna get even lower than that, just drop a single pin over here. And with that single pin, this is it, you can go to as low as one, sorry, one mile right here. Okay, so you can get pretty minuscule. You can do city blocks and you can even exclude things. Um, so say you don't want, you know, the east side of town because those east siders, um, you can exclude that and you can play with that as well. So pretty powerful. Um, so uh, let's see, I'll exit that, I don't want that, exit that. So you see here, uh, it says people living in recent, living in or recently in this location. You want to check people living in this location. Otherwise, you're going to get people that travel. And you don't want that. My potential reach is 210,000 people. Um, so that's uh, not huge. I'm going to do 18 to, you know, if I were recruiting, I'd probably say, uh, you know, 42. Uh, it's up to you. We have players that are 55. Um, but it brings my potential reach down to 120. If your potential reach is, oh, I got to do min. Yeah, that's right. 58. That's pretty low. So um, you'll want to select men, women, uh, languages. That's leave that open. If your potential reach is really big, you can start going into details and narrowing it down by people that like soccer. And it'll give you a bunch of suggestions on people that like basketball. Um, you know, athletes, maybe CrossFit athletes, maybe they make good rugby players, CrossFit. Um, so yeah, and then once you start filling those in, it'll give you suggestions as well. So follow the suggestions. Um, you'll want to do manual placements down here um, because you really want to focus on the Facebook news feed and the Instagram feed because they're going to give you the best bang for your buck. That's where you're going to get the most eyes. You're not going to really convert people in Facebook Marketplace for cheap or Instagram Explorer stories. I mean, you can try them, but they don't work that great. Um, you want conversations. Here's where you do your budget. I would um, do at least like five bucks a day, if not more. Uh, like I said, ask your board for money uh, or pass around a hat during practice or some kind of social function. Um, okay, so now we are into the actual ad. So you'll want to select, select your page. Um, we're doing Springfield Rugby here, and you can name this whatever you'd like. Um, our Instagram account is connected, Springfield underscore rugby. Go follow us. <laughs> um, so here's where you select the creative. You can also use an existing post. So if you have an existing post that you have um, created that you really like, you can do it that way as well. Um, but I already have a video in mind, so I'm going to add a video. and upload and select it from your desktop, but I've already uploaded this, so we'll just use it there. And you can edit your video. Um, you can do so much within here. If you pull in uh, multiple images, you can edit those into a slideshow here. Um, you can do carousels, which are kind of those ads that you swipe. You can do carousel video. Um, see, right here, I don't even really have to do any copy because my creative says pretty much what I want it to. I'm just going to show you kind of how this auto populates. Play rugby. That's just for us for info. That'll come down here. Um, description rugby. Um, that that goes down here typically, um, and then you're pretty much done. I mean, that's that's a message ad. Uh, you can create like automations with your messaging if you have frequently asked questions that people. 
uh, are going to ask you, um, you can do like an automated thing right here. But after that, you just hit confirm um, and it'll create your ad. Uh, give to Facebook some time to approve that. Um, and if it doesn't approve, uh, you'll just hit review and they'll review it and probably approve it. Uh, so yeah, that's how to grow your rugby club or any sport club um, with Facebook ads. It's extremely powerful. So please share this. Um, let me know if you have any questions, please email me. Uh, but yeah, it's all about growing rugby. So let's make this viral, you guys, and good luck. Welcome to Springfield Rugby. We're looking for all shapes, sizes, talents. We'd love to have you out. Springfield on three! One, two, three! Springfield!